What's up, my LS Crazy Amigos? Your boy, Terry, mm, charged. Speaking from the garage shop, again. Hit off you some more Big Bang for the Buck product and info. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Now, in your social media travels, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, you may have came across an ad for this. Now, I don't know what these things are called. The idea behind this, it's a shrink tube with solder in the middle of it. So it's a two for one because I do a lot of soldering. You know, when you do custom install, you gotta move some wires because some wires may not be long enough, some wires may be too short. Whenever I solder wires together, I'll take two wires like this, twist them together, get some solder, melt the solder, and it will solder these two wires together. Then I take some shrink tube, move it over the exposed wire, put a little heat to it, and it will shrink and conform to the shape. And what that'll do is that will put a shield over the exposed metal, which is no longer exposed, and you're pretty much done. So this is supposed to tie the soldering and the shrink wrap together. I don't even know what these things are called. Shrink tubes? Solder wraps? I don't know. But anyways, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna test that. We're gonna test and see if if they hold up, or if they're as strong as they say they are, and if they flow the same amount of current. So, I got my gauge, I got my heat gun, <laughs> I got my tool, and of course, <laughs> I got some wire. So we're gonna test this wire, see what kind of readings we get, then we're gonna cut it, solder it back together, and test it again and see if the readings are the same. Oh, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, so let's begin. With the gauge, I'm gonna turn it to 200 ohms. See that? Look like that. Uh, you'll have a, well, that's not a one, it's actually an I and a dot. And don't forget, we here at the garage shop, we use the most sophisticated equipment when we do testing. There we go. First, we're gonna test the gauge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch the positive and the negative together. Now I should get a zero, five, four, three, or something like that. What am I getting? A zero, five, all right? So that's good. The lower the number, the better. So I'm gonna take one end of the wire with the positive, and I'm gonna take the other end of the wire with the negative. And I still should get like a, a zero, a point five, or something like that. And there it is. So what that means is the wire is good, it has no breaks in it, and we can continue without testing. Side note, now if this cable had a break in it somewhere, you wouldn't receive any type of number, you'd still see that eye sitting up there. So this is a good way to test and see if your cable is good before you install it. So now I'm gonna cut the wire. Woo! All right, so now I got two wires. I'm gonna expose piece of the wire. So I got two wires and I'm gonna work with this end. I'm gonna get my, I don't know what it's called, um, solder shrink. Yeah, we'll go with that. All right, and I'm gonna put one end in and I'm gonna put my other end in on the other side. Now I got this wire going through the solder and I got this wire going through the solder. So now we're gonna put a little heat to it, shrink it, and then we're gonna test it again and see what's up. So far it looks pretty good. Let's test it out. So I'm gonna take my negative, hook it up on one side of the wire, take my positive, and there goes the, the solder tube. So let's see what we get. An 05. I think we just have a game changer right there. Wow. These things look like they work. So I will be using these. And it's pretty amazing. Wow. I really hope you like this little independent testing that I did here. I, but I'm looking at the clock on the wall. Or should I say ceiling? Time for me to head on off. And remember, if you like what you see, you got to hit subscribe, follow, share, the thumbs up on YouTube. Hit that, and the likes, everything. Just do everything. You know what to do. You know what to do. I know, I'm not telling you. You know. But 
you know what I'm going to say. Yeah, there's no me without you. That's right. So continue doing what you do, and I'll continue doing what I'm doing. And as always, be easy, and I'll talk to you guys real soon. Take care. <laughs>